been a fan of Jujutsu Kaisen for a little while and you paid any amount of attention towards the leaks or unofficial translations, you've probably realized that the official English releases done by Viz Media are usually translated slightly differently. While at first glance, many like myself may conclude that the unofficial translations are simply typically an error that Viz has luckily corrected. Like myself and many others thought, but you could not have been more wrong. I'm not saying that every translation produced by Viz Media is completely false, but for being looked at as an authority by the community for the highest form of clarification, in short, it's terrible. For those of you who have seen some of my previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. In this video, I'll be going over a few important mistranslations throughout the Jujutsu Kaisen manga that are power scaling related or relevant to technique usage, and hopefully clear up any misconceptions about what's really being said on screen. A quick little disclaimer, I'm not a Japanese speaker and official source for Jujutsu Kaisen's English releases, so I highly recommend you do your own research. I also do not own any of these translations, and the translators for each of these translations will be in the description below and displayed on screen when referenced, and I highly recommend you check all them out. If you enjoyed Jujutsu Kaisen content, please leave a like and subscribe, and comment on some video ideas you want to see be done down below. We'll start by going over some retranslations from a fan retranslation team called Nanami Says. Both of the creator's Twitters will be linked in the description below. In chapter 2, when Gojo told Yuji to switch places with Sakuna but for only 10 seconds, in the Viz release, Gojo reassures Yuji by saying not to worry because he's the strongest Jujutsu sorcerer. But in the retranslation, in actuality, Gojo says not to worry because he's the strongest, period. Not just out of the Jujutsu sorcerers. In chapter 6, when Megami encounters the Finger Bear, Viz Media translated Megami saying that the original domain expanded due to cursed energy, when really what Megami is saying is that this is an innate domain that's expanded using cursed energy. The Viz translation is extremely misleading, and when we're given further context down the line, this new interpretation begins to make more sense. The fanbook explains that domain expansions are simply the combination between your innate domain and your own cursed technique. When Gojo tells Yuji later on that the domain that they encountered in the detention facility was an unfinished domain that wasn't manifested using a cursed technique, it makes it all the more likely that the finger bear actually used an innate domain like the retranslation suggests. In chapter 23 during Nanami's first fight with Mahito, according to Viz, Nanami says even if sorcerers can't protect their bodies using cursed energy, they can't protect their souls. In the retranslation, what Nanami actually says is that even if sorcerers can protect their bodies using cursed energy, they just aren't used to protecting their souls. Meaning unlike the Viz translation, it implies that sorcerers can actually in theory protect their own souls using cursed energy, but they aren't used to it. In chapter 27, after Mahito had used Idol Transfiguration to mutate Junpei, Yuji begins begging Sakuna to make another deal but Sakuna declines Yuji's offer. When Mahito questions if Sakuna had already made a binding vow with Yuji, he goes on to say that it's not like Sakuna couldn't fix Idol Transfiguration using Reverse Curse Technique, but concludes that perhaps he can't use Reverse Curse Technique to heal other people. Well, in the retranslation, what Mahito had actually said was that Sakuna can't in fact heal others using Idol Transfiguration because Reverse Curse Technique doesn't do anything when it comes to changing the shape of the soul, meaning Reverse Curse Technique doesn't actually fix Idol Transfiguration like many believe. In Chapter 30, for the first time, Mahito manages to open up his own domain expansion and trap Nanami inside. In the Viz release, Nanami says that it's an area constructed with cursed energy. Once trapped inside, all hits are fatal and cannot be evaded. It's also a technique he was never able to master. But when this is retranslated, what Nanami actually says is, to sublimate your fatal technique into a sure hit fatal technique inside an innate domain created using cursed energy, it's the peak of Jujutsu sorcery that Nanami was never able to achieve. The first obvious difference in the Viz translation is that it mixes up the words achieve and master, which obviously hold two completely different meanings. And the second is that the English release doesn't mention the innate domain or the peak jujutsu sorcery aspect anywhere, and calls what seems to be referencing the innate domain the area constructed with cursed energy, which just sounds overall lazy. In chapter 36, during Yuji's fight with Toto during the Goodwill event, in the English release, Toto says that despite his small stature, he's stronger than he is. When retranslated, it's revealed that Toto is actually saying that despite his small stature, when it comes to raw power, he's stronger than he is. The key difference here is that Toto only remarks that Yuji's stronger than him when it comes to raw power power. Nothing else implies that Toto is talking about when he reinforces his own strikes with cursed energy. In chapter 38, during Yuji's second encounter with Hanami, Yuji closes the distance between him and the cursed spirit and lands a kick to its face. In the Viz translation, Hanami says that Yuji is faster and more agile than the girl, referring to Maki. When retranslated, it's revealed that Hanami actually says that Yuji's instantaneous force surpasses the girl from before, referring to Maki again. The main difference here in the Viz translation is that nothing Hanami says entails or implies that Yuji is stronger than Maki, and instead references Yuji's agility for some strange reason. A few chapters later in chapter 49, after Yuji lands a black flash and punches off Hanami's arm, the cursed spirit begins to repair itself. Yuji stands confused and Toto explains to Yuji what exactly Hanami's doing. In the Viz translation, Toto says that after healing, Hanami's cursed energy is undoubtedly weakened. If you're also a little confused after reading that on what exactly that means, you're not alone. In the retranslated version, Toto actually says that Hanami healing will certainly shave off its
its cursed energy. In other words, what Viz attempted to get across was that Hanami using cursed energy to heal will definitely drain a substantial amount of her own cursed energy. Later in the same chapter, when Yuji and Toto both begin to pile on attacks on Hanami, in the Viz release, Hanami says that individually, both Yuji and Toto have enough power to hurt Hanami. If we look at the retranslated version, Hanami says that each hit has enough power to deal damage to Hanami with certainty. While the change is subtle at first glance, a lot actually changes when rereading the sentence. Hanami uses the word each, meaning a singular hit from both Yuji and Toto can damage Hanami, not a combination of strikes like Yuji attempted to do on Hanami previously, like many in the fandom believe. When Toto begins explaining to Hanami the conditions of his curse technique Boogie Woogie, in the Viz release, Toto doesn't mention a range to his Boogie Woogie, whereas in the retranslation, there's a range for his technique. Toto's technique having a radius is a pretty important detail to know as a reader for his curse technique. The radius also seems to be depicted on the page, so it makes me wonder why Viz would omit something this integral. After Goodwill in Chapter 58, Megami is knocked out by the finger bear, and we get a flashback between him and Gojo's training. In the Viz release, Gojo says that he's surprised that Megami asked for his training and questions if it's because of Yuji's growth after the Goodwill event. When retranslated, Gojo instead questions Megami if he asked him to train him because he became impatient after getting surpassed by Yuji. In the fan book, Gege Akutami says that after Goodwill, Yuji had pulled ahead of him using his Black Flash. In other words, the retranslation with Yuji becoming stronger than Megami after unlocking Black Flash is all the more consistent with context we gain later down the line. From this point forward, all the translations used will be from a translator on Twitter named Lightning446. His Twitter and doc for the rest of these translations can all be found below. In chapter 71, during Satoru's first fight with Toji Zenin, Gojo attempts to sense his cursed energy, but realizes that Toji doesn't seem to have any. In the Viz release, Gojo says that Toji has zero cursed energy, and it's all innate physical prowess. But when retranslated, Gojo's a little bit more blunt, Gojo actually says that it's heavenly restrictions, physical gift. A little bit later in chapter 73, during Toji's next fight against Ghetto, Toji begins revealing certain aspects about his heavenly restriction to Ghetto. In the Viz release, Ghetto says that it's heavenly restriction, like revealing certain information can give them an advantage in the fight. But when retranslated, Ghetto actually says something a little bit different. He says that he already knows that disclosing information will increase Toji's abilities like sorcerers do. The phrase used here is the same phrase that Toto uses back in Goodwill when explaining his technique to Hanami to increase his cursed energy levels. Ghetto implies that Toji can do the same with his heavenly restriction, but perhaps it's maybe to increase Toji's abilities even further. Which makes me wonder if Maki could do the same thing, but we'll have to just wait and see. Later during the same fight with Ghetto, Ghetto summons an imaginary vengeful spirit and traps Toji. In the Viz release, Toji says that it's an imaginary vengeful spirit with an innate domain with a pact that can't be broken until the question is answered. When retranslated, Toji actually says that what surrounds him is a simple domain where neither party is allowed to violate the pact until the question is answered, implying that Ghetto also had to answer a similar question like Toji did to escape the simple domain. During Toji's second fight with Satoru in chapter 75, Toji begins to break down each strategy for Gojo's arsenal. In the Viz release, points 1 and 3 are fine, but when point 2 is retranslated, what Toji really says is, he can erase the attraction power with his inverted spear of heaven, now that he has better reach, but he can also avoid it with his foot speed. The kanji used meaning legs is meant to imply foot speed specifically. I had tried to keep out basic dialogue that wasn't slightly power scaling related or technique relevant outside the video, but this is by far the biggest misconception I encountered when reading the series for the first time, and if I was ever going to talk about it, now is probably better than ever. While many believe that this is a younger Toji, it's actually his wife and Megami's mother, as confirmed in future materials when his face is used to indicate Toji's spouse. For example, the Zenin clan family tree or this popularity poll. To skip a little farther ahead, in Shibuya in chapter 84, during Gojo's fight with the disaster curses, Hanami and Jogo both activate domain amplification. The phrase Jogo uses is 10N, which means closer to stretch out thinly. In fact, 10N can even mean expansion in certain circumstances. Using amplification is misleading and it's also inaccurate since they're not actually amplifying their own domain, they're merely wearing it. A closer translation would be domain envelop. In chapter 119, during Sukuna's battle against Maharaga, when Sukuna opens up his own domain expansion, in the Viz release, it says that Malevolent Shrine differs from other types of domain expansion in that it doesn't create a separate space using a barrier. Even without the retranslation, we know that this can't be correct. During Megami's fight with Reggie, it's explained that barriers are the thing that allows for sure hit attacks to happen inside domain expansion. In other words, with the later context given, if there wasn't a barrier, then Sukuna wouldn't be able to use a sure hit attack. When retranslated, what's actually said is that Malevolent Shrine differs from other domains in that it doesn't separate the space slash airspace from its barrier. The Viz release also goes as far to say in the same page that Sukuna is realizing his own innate domain without using a barrier to achieve domain expansion. While in the retranslation, what Sukuna is actually saying is that the ability to materialize one's innate domain without closing its barrier. Lightning, the fan translator on Twitter for this panel, says that this nuanced wording is very important and it establishes that as powerful as Sukuna is, even he is not exempt from some jujutsu rules, which I 
couldn't agree with more. It seems like Viz has fixed this later on. Tengen says that Kenjaku's domain uses a barrier without it being closed, which is even what Tengen says is exactly what Sakuna had demonstrated in Shibuya. In other words, Sakuna does in fact use a barrier, it's just not closed. Later in chapter 187, Akari opens up his domain expansion for the second time against Kashimo to re-roll for a jackpot. Lightning says that in the Viz release, there's a crucial mistranslation regarding Hakari's domain expansion. The main part of interest is where it says it is strong in a clash of domains. Viz failed to realize it's actually a separate clause for the rest of the sentence because the phrase was used by Akutami in context of domain expansion battles. Basically, Hakari trades in the lethality of his sure hit for both activation speed and strength in domain clashes. And the proper retranslation would be saying that in order to make the guaranteed hit of Akari's domain harmless, it is powerful in a domain clash and the activation of his curse technique is also fast. In chapter 215, after Sakuna had swapped vessels and taken over Megami's body, he began to question the effectiveness of his abilities in this new form. In the Viz release, Sakuna says that his cursed energy is fluctuating and at its lowest it's under 10%, but his physical movement seems to be fine. According to Lightning, the second line is misleading. Its nuance is that the ability to control Megami's body isn't as bad as the cursed energy drop when he uses a cursed technique. A more accurate translation Lightning provides is that there are some irregularities, but Sakuna's cursed energy output is falling below 10%, and it doesn't go as far as hindering his movements in the vessel. Later in the same chapter, a few more errors were made. When Maki shows up to contend Sakuna along with Itadori, when giving Maki a brief rundown, Yuji says that Sakuna won't die even if Maki goes all out. But when retranslated, Yuji actually says that Sakuna won't die even if you kill him. Lightning goes on to say that it's a line that's meant to be hazy in interpretation, but for some reason, Viz added an extra layer of meaning here, that the duo exert their best effort, which is weird since Maki recites Yuji's literal exact words up next. Maki and Yuji reconvene later on after brawling with Sakuna. In the Viz release, Maki questions if Sakuna can heal from wounds that are caused with the soul split katana, and then confirms with Yuji that their goal is to stop Sakuna even if it means killing him. As Lightning mentioned earlier, Maki recites Yuji's hazy but short summary. She says capture, not stop, and she also mentions reverse curse technique, which Viz seems to have omitted for some strange reason. And again, later in the same fight, Sakuna uses his curse technique to break apart the ground, and in the Viz release, Sakuna thinks to himself that his cursed energy output drops when attempting to hurt Megami's allies. In Lightning's retranslation, Sakuna instead says that probably when he tries to hurt his comrades, this body strongly resists Sakuna and drops his cursed technique's cursed energy output. This created a huge misconception that all of Sakuna's cursed energy output in general was limited when it was actually only his cursed technique. This was a different type of video than anything I've ever done before, so if you've enjoyed, please look in the description below and visit the socials for the team behind Nanami Says and Lightning 446. Both have many more retranslations done for Jujutsu Kaisen than I have covered in this video, so I highly recommend you check both of them out. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm not an authority for Japanese to English translations, so I highly recommend you do your own research. If you enjoy Jujutsu Kaisen content, please leave a like and subscribe, and comment on some video ideas you want to see be done down below. 